Uh, Professor Trom, do you, do you think we should forgive criminal misbehavior in the name of social justice? Senator, thank you for that question. I recognize that all issues of crime and all responses to crime are fundamentally policy issues. Um, so those are important issues. They're important for our community and our nation. But I leave those policy issues to policymakers. If confirmed as a judge, I would not be a policymaker. I'm not, I asking, would be your, I'm not asking your opinion as a judge. I'm asking your opinion as a person, as a law professor. I'll stipulate with all of you that uh, you're all going to be fair and unbiased, okay? Now, do you, do you think that criminal misbehavior and illegal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? So, Senator, I, I do believe that um, all cr criminal policy is a fundamentally a policy issue. Yes, ma'am, um, but do you think those, as a person, as a professor, that an illegal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? Senator, that is not a view that I have taken in my work, and what so I that's would say... that's no? Is your answer no? Senator, in my work, I have not taken that view, and in my, in my understanding, I, I, I'm asking, Professor, what you believe. I think this is really straightforward. You're, prof you're a professor. Do you believe that a uh, uh, an illegal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? It's pretty simple. So, Senator, I believe that we have criminal laws, criminal laws that are created by policymaking bodies well, like this one. I, we, I got all that. Do you believe that a criminal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? So, Senator, we have not only criminal laws, but we have a criminal process by which people come before the court to be held accountable um, if they are charged with a crime. And I have enormous respect for that process. I do, too. Do you believe that a criminal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? Senator, when people come before the court, if they are charged with a crime, that is a highly individualized and fact-specific uh, process I for that all thing. who are involved, and I respect that process. I respect the heck out of it. Do you believe that a criminal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? Senator... I don't think that I could say with respect to any particular case or as a generality with respect to any category of cases. Do you what not should... have an opinion? I don't have a view to share on how any particular kind of case should be handled. Do you have a view on my question? I do not have a viewpoint to share on how any no, particular I didn't case ask that. I, I can tell you don't want to share it. I got that part. Uh, do you have a view? I, I don't understand why you won't answer my question. You're gonna, you're, if you're confirmed, you're going to be a federal judge. And, and I, I joined my good friend, Senator Durbin, in, uh, in saying that judicial and temperament is, is important. But I think being unbiased is even more important. And I find it incredible that you won't answer my question. You're, so I'm going to ask it again. Maybe it's me. Do you believe that we should forgive a criminal act in the name of social justice? Senator, I ha share the view that we should be unbiased, but I also share the view that our criminal justice system and our process is very individualized. So what should happen in any particular case is a matter of the process and the very specific do, do facts you in that case. that a criminal act should be forgiven in the name of social justice? 
So the outcome of any case is always highly individualized based on the process and the facts. What's your favorite color? Blue. Thank you. <laughs> I got one. I'm one for about 20. I can't vote for you. Not if you're not going to answer questions. I mean, that was embarrassing. Senator Blackburn.